Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Saturday the 25th of November 2023. I just managed to catch the first snow in this forest. And in this video I will show you mushrooms that I was able to find today and also previously in other November weekends. Let's start. The weather is quite changing. Up there it looks almost like in summer. And down here, almost like winter. I took a picture of this fly agaric. Look at these two beautiful parasols. Here is the fallen tree which I showed you in my previous video and I found very tiny oyster mushrooms here on the tree. I let them grow and I'm very happy to see that they grew very nicely into beauty. So today we have first class oyster mushrooms fresh to pick. The good thing also is today they are not frozen yet because even if we have snow the temperature is still above the freezing point so i will take some pictures of these and then i will take them So let's try to pick them. The first one. Another nice bunch. Some bigger ones. Some more. The biggest so far. This is the cluster I was taking pictures of two weeks ago and I was very happy about it. It looked amazing when it was so young and it still looks very good. managed to take it out almost the whole so it looks really good and the snow makes it look like with sugar on top Another big bunch, beautiful fresh oysters. There are still some smaller ones, which I will let here, maybe to continue growing. And here we can see how many of them were here. Then you should also know how they smell. It's such a good smell when oyster mushrooms are fresh. Probably, at least for me, one of the best smelling mushrooms. And this all will go to my basket. 
I'm very happy for this find. A find from two weeks ago, harvested now. So it took me some time to clean it a bit from dirt, a bit from snow, but it looks awesome. This is the very same cluster I was taking pictures of two weeks ago and when I put it all in my basket the basket is half full and this is my bigger basket so really great. Another mushroom species which likes cold weather is orange oysters. At this place I used to find them on dead birches and I really like to take pictures of them. There are also many aspens here including this tree and there are some small mushrooms growing here. I think it's the Psatyrella species. Now I came to the spot where I found oyster mushrooms two years ago. It was my first find on this spot. And at the very same broken tree, probably Aspen, a nice cluster is here again. So this is also something I will take. So here it is. beautiful cluster. This is the very same tree as on which last year I found some wild enoki mushrooms or velvet chunks and as you can see some little ones are starting here too. So probably it will be a good idea to come here in a week or two and check them. I would really like to take pictures of them. It's a very photogenic mushroom. The snow is melting, so it's a bit easier to find mushrooms. And now I have some more fly agarics here and this one looks gorgeous. Still with a bit of snow we had. Here is the neighbor. And here are two more or three more tiny ones. As the history is repeating today in several cases already, I hoped that also at this spot I will find something similar as two years ago. Because as you can see there is a bit of a hole here. And two years ago it was full of winter chanterelles. And it's full of winter chanterelles today too. I definitely want to take some pictures of them and then I will pick some of them because they seem to be in the perfect shape and it's a winter mushroom species which likes cold weather. Thanks to that they are still in the 
perfect condition. So in the meantime, I also managed to find this beautiful bay bolid. But I don't pick bay bolids today. They should still be okay because the temperatures were not freezing. But there are not many of them, so I will focus on what I have here. The winter chanterelles. I took a picture of this one. Of course I will not record how I pick all of them. But I want to show you at least something. I also don't want to pick all of them. I want to leave most of them here. But maybe to take several will be nice. Especially from this rich group. They are in a very good shape. This one is quite huge also. So I will maybe take some more, clean them and put them to my basket. There are mostly pines around and we have another mushroom species here. If this is what I think it is, I don't know the English name, but we call it something like after freeze juicy. It's very slimy on top. And it's supposed to be edible, but I personally don't have experience with picking or eating them. So I just wanted to show you how they look like. I really like the gills and I took a picture of it. Nice surprise for the beginning. Here is a nice fly agaric. And not far from it, we have a beautiful Boletus edulis. Very well camouflaged in the autumn leaves from the beaches around. I really like it, looks quite fresh and I have noticed it's not the only one here. Maybe you will see the second one. I will try to zoom a bit. The problem is I need to get there safely so I turn the camera off now and I will show you when I pick it. So I am down here able to take it now this one actually looks a bit older than the first one but I can tell you the first one was healthy hopefully this one will be healthy too I can put the slug down here it is and we have amazing view here Maybe you can already see it. This one was a bit easier to spot thanks to its white stem, but it's already uncovered a bit more. And 
and as you can see we have some chanterelles next to it, probably craterellus to buy for me. Which is also a nice edible mushroom. Maybe I will pick those too. But let's focus on the biggest guy now. So it really looks great. Autumn ceps as I like them. That's what I was waiting for, until the leaves fall down and until such beautiful mushrooms start growing in them. So let's check the health and clean it a bit. Yeah, it is healthy. So here is the cleaned sap. A beautiful mushroom. And also some chanterelles next to it. Here is one more. bit damaged from one side but very good looking from this side so another beautiful find here is also my favorite mushroom to take pictures of I think the English name is verdigris agaric Seems like we have some wood bluets here. Lepistanuda, a nice purple mushroom. This one is quite huge. Here are two more. I will probably take this one also. These two should be good. It's always great to see a fly agaric, especially when it's as beautiful as this one. There is one more behind it. There is a forest creek behind me. And in front of me, we have some black trumpets. Some of them are not in the best shape. But some of them look pretty good. After quite a while, more winter chanterelles, craterellus tubaeformis. I know there is one more species, which looks almost the same, with some small differences, and it has different name, but this is a nice bunch of them. Here we have some more of winter chanterelles. 
I will pick a few of them. This one is quite big. I don't want all because some of them are pretty small. But these guys look very nice. And we have more clusters here. This cluster is quite small, but these are quite huge. And some smaller ones there, but this is what I will take. Here is a beautiful Rusua, which I was already taking pictures of it today, much earlier, and about two meters from it, we have found a young Boletus pinophilus, just a baby, but it's beautiful. So that's it from this forest. In the basket we have a few beautiful taps, some winter chanterelles and some black trumpets. And of course the highlight is this beautiful tap. Now we will jump to another November days in another November forests. So now we are in a completely different forest. It's Sunday the 5th of November and we have the wrinkled peach mushroom here. Probably the most photogenic mushroom that I know. Some mushrooms on a meadow. I believe it's some kind of Lepista, probably Lepista Nuda. You can know by the purple color, but on the meadow you can also find its sibling Lepista Personata, which has purple stem but uh, grey head. There are quite many of them here. I decided to take some. They are really in a great shape. Maybe it is Lepista Personata, I never found it before. But my guess is Lepista Nuda because of the purple color from the bottom. So here they are. And here it how it looks like after cleaning.
Here we have some quite well camouflaged honey fungus, smaller and bigger ones. I will try to take some of them. People recommend to only pick the heads because the stem is usually very firm. So I will take the heads like this. So again a different forest, mostly with pines here, and this looks like some milk cups. But these are not the saffron milk cups, I think these are not good to take. I will see after I cut them. If they have orange milk, they should be okay. And actually they have. This one is already damaged a little bit and the milk is orange, so probably yes, they are saffron milk cups. There is a lot of honey fungus on this tree. Some smaller ones, bigger ones. This cluster is really nice. It's bigger. Here is some dead wood and on one of the fallen branches this beautiful stropharia the verdigris agaric, which I always like to take pictures of. Okay guys, so that will be all for today and for this video. As you can see, today was very successful because my basket is almost full with beautiful oyster mushrooms or winter chanterelles. So I hope you like this video, if yes then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already, share the video with your friends or find me on social media. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.